as human beings, we are creatures of habit. Sometimes you do need to just be able to sit back and reflect. You need somebody else to just come in afresh and to look at something. The students did that and I am very, very grateful. Cheatham's is one of the oldest institutions in Manchester. In fact, when Cheatham's was first here, it, back in 1421, that was when the buildings were built, and there was absolutely nothing all around it. It was the first stone building here. Um, for many years, it was uh, a college of priests, so we have a, a long relationship with the cathedral. Manchester Cathedral used to be the local parish church, and chorus, choristers and priests used to live here at Cheatham's and, and pray and eat, and then they would go back and forth every day to the local parish church to um, perform all their services. So um, the relationship between our organisations goes back a long way. Cheatham's today is actually the oldest public library in the English-speaking world um, and it's a school but it's only been a music school for the last 40 years. The medieval buildings here have all been used as rehearsal space, teaching space for the school um, but we've just finished a brand new school building um, which has enabled us to take the pressure off um, the medieval buildings and over the next few years we're working to divide more the actual school and, the, and what will become a visitor attraction. So the challenges we are facing really are um, there is the understanding with the council that there's going to be an area of Manchester called Medieval Manchester, that's the working title. And we know that we want to develop a whole new business area. Um, we're evolving from being a school and a library into being a fully fledged uh, a visitor attraction. The cathedral really historically um, had to really go through quite uh, an in-depth rationale on their thinking on on really what is this place for apart from being the place of worship how do we engage with the many visitors that come into manchester we then started to really look at um, our partnership with cheatham's and bring together really there's three three elements to medieval manchester it's the cathedral cheatham school of music the medieval buildings and the hanging ditch bridge which is in our visitor center and um, bringing them together in a cohesive way was the other part of our thought process. And how do we actually together work with each other and with the city to actually add again something to the brand of the city? And that was very important. We thought Manchester Business School was the ideal way to bring in some, um, a whole range of different business backgrounds and, and expertise. We, we've got such a small team here um, and it was something ideal really for Manchester Business School students to be able to carry out. The other element for us is that this visitor attraction is going to be a partnership. It's going to be a partnership with different organisations in the city. It's a partnership between ourselves and the cathedral as the two main institutions within medieval Manchester. So it's really helpful to have um, a, a group of people outside of each individual institution when you're in a partnership situation to bring you some objective advice and insights. The students that were involved here and the level of work and commitment that they gave was absolutely astounding. Um, and I mean, it was, I mean, my, my thoughts on Manchester Business School, I mean, what was really great about this project, from my perspective, um, apart from the, the presentation and the report that came out of it and the findings, was the fact that these students came from all corners of the world and they came from different faith backgrounds um, different cultures um, and they embraced this project uh, and I thought that was wonderful um, they, they quickly assimilated information uh, they developed their own work plan um, and a lot of them if not all of them worked well on be well beyond 
uh, the time given. Lucy and I thought this was going to be like a six to eight month project. I think it was a six to eight week project rather than a six to eight month project. One of the main benefits of the MBS consultancy project was that it was the first time we had real public insights, consumer research insights into this great vision that we have for a visitor attraction. Um, and, and it was very reassuring, it gave us a lot of confidence um, because a lot of the themes that we plan to bring out in the visit, that we, we plan to intermingle in the visitor attraction, um, which is basically heritage, history, music, so it's, it's medieval history, but it's coming right through the ages of history to the music of today. Um, it gave us confidence that uh, we were on the right track, um, and that's actually invaluable in itself. The group brought us some conclusions about who who, who is the type of person that will come to a visitor attraction in Manchester um, and they broke the, the target customer down into to some prioritised categories um, but they also gathered perceptions from the people they interviewed about uh, not only the brand of medieval Manchester but also um, the brand of the visitor attraction that will be here at Cheetham's and at the cathedral so um, that gave some really useful feedback um, and they also uh, gathered some ideas and recommendations for how we can bring in, how we can generate revenue in the visitor attraction. Um, so looking beyond just ticket prices, um, but other elements, um, and that was directly from our target market, which was really useful. Yes, I think we've benefited immensely, as I said. I mean, uh, one of the key things that we've done is obviously now um, engaged to actually have written a, a cohesive and proper business plan, um, looking at basically working upon visitor offer, uh, bringing in themed and guided tours, costume tours, um, and to look at the business model, how it supports that, and I think that's been important as well. I would definitely recommend the consultancy project. I think um, when your members of staff are just caught up in the day-to-day -day and you have pressing business challenges, that are important, very, you know, they can be critical, um, but you just don't have the time to free up. Um, this is a great way, you can get five or six very well able um, students, but actually student doesn't, um, doesn't actually communicate how experienced these, these people are. Um, and then you can, they can actually help you break down and, and define really whatever your challenges are into um, a, a piece of work that they can present and, and can be really, really helpful for your business. So I would definitely, I would definitely without doubt recommend it.